Hi friends, this is Shukesh once again and well today I'm gonna review this PDF element which is by far the best PDF solution you can have for your desktop both Windows and Mac and there is even an iOS version. Now this software offers some really crazy handy features which I find quite helpful. Let me show you the main features one by one starting with the embedded OCR that is optical character recognition and there you have a step by step online user guide which is quite helpful you are never lost now to start with there are four options here create PDF files edit PDFs combine and convert to PDF files as I mentioned before I will first try the OCR feature and there I have a scanned image of a book the scan quality is not that great few areas are blurred let's see whether this software can really recognize all the characters here First of all, I will try to rotate this PDF file which you can find under the page tab here. So this is how you can rotate a PDF page. I will talk more about these features later. Under the edit tab, you will find the OCR. So let's press this and what OCR does is it converts your scanned paper documents into editable digital documents and the good news is a number of languages are supported so it need not to be in English only and there are a couple of other parameters you can play with. You can set the display layout, your default font and most importantly you can convert this PDF file into Word, Excel, PowerPoint and couple of other options. You can even set the DPI which will help you control the file size. Now let's get started. There you go the conversion is complete and let's check whether you can actually edit this text. If you wish you can also crop this PDF file which I will show you later. To edit you have to go to the edit tab and edit text. Just select the part you want to edit and if you wish you can set the font size color and to add text you can move the cursor anywhere and type. It's as simple as that. The new text perfectly matches the font of the book and now you can apply all the cool features of this PDF element software into the scanned image of your paper document. You can edit objects and images and of course add one. Just like so. Before I show you the rest of the features, click here and go to this optimize option. This is where you can reduce the size of the PDF files which is quite handy sometimes for sending as an attachment to your emails. So this is a quick tip I wanted to share with you guys. Okay, you also have a direct option to convert PDF files with the OCR option here and let's open an ebook. Now along with Word, Excel, PowerPoint, you are getting couple of other options including GIF or GIF. Now let's first convert to Word document. You can now click here to open the converted file. There you go. Everything on the PDF file is intact. You can edit, you can resize the images without any issue. Now let's check the editing options. This is the original PDF file I have just converted. As I mentioned before, you can edit text right away, maintaining the font and size. Using edit objects, you can move the images and of course resize. You can also add links anywhere on the PDF. Just select this option here and draw the linkable area. Now just put the web address here and as you can see there is another option to go to a page view. For example, if I put two here and set the link, I can go to the page number two just by clicking here. Just like so. You can also edit the font size etc from here as well. Next let's move to the comment tab where you can highlight and annotate your documents. 
there you have an area highlight option that is just draw an area and to annotate just double tap put your text here now to read the annotations i have to click here you can also highlight only the text as you can see there are options to underline as well you can also put some stamps there are some templates already loaded so just click here and put this anywhere on the pdf file you can resize and to edit the text you can click on this settings icon here and also set the capacity to make it transparent you can also create and save your stamps here just select the picture from your gallery and save now you can find your created stamps here using these tools here you can also draw different markups and set the shape as you like you can also write that is draw and erase if needed. You can also put text box anywhere and start typing right away. Next let's move to the next tab that is page where you can crop you can rotate insert and also delete certain pages split replace or extract a single or multiple pages just put the page numbers here there you go the most important option here is watermark you can create the watermark as you need with text and images set the position there you have the preview to put your own image or logo you can upload the image just like so using the background option you can change the background color as you wish and also make it transparent if needed you can also set base numbering from here and set the position font page range etc you can even add header and footer to your documents as well to set the position you can play with these parameters here One of the greatest features of this PDF element software is you can edit your forms. Let's open a text return form I have downloaded and uh, along with your edit text and edit objects options, you are getting edit form that is you can customize the form as you like and uh, you can double tap on any text field to set the properties. You can put a tooltip that is this text will show up when you hover your mouse pointer. You can also customize the appearance, format, etc. Now if I just hover the mouse pointer over the text field, the toolkit will pop up. I can add checkboxes, radio buttons, drop down list, etc. Now as you can see you can also add digital signature field anywhere on the PDF file. You can resize, edit the text and also put a tooltip. Now you can export the form in FDF format. If needed you can also download different forms from Wondershare website. There are numerous templates in different categories. So another very handy feature.
last but not the least you have the protect tab where you can put a password to the pdf file and encrypt the document you can even set a password to change the security settings again you can sign the document using your digital signature and place the signature field anywhere you want you can upload your existing digital id or create a new one now there is also an option for redaction to show you how does this work let's open another file here i have some sensitive data like my mail id the pnr number etc so i can just copy the text and put this on the search box for redaction so this is how i can hide any sensitive data on my documents there are two mentions of my mail id so this will be now hidden as you can see Well friends, we are at the end of this review and this PDF element by Wondershare is worth trying. You can try it for free and also buy. The buying link is in the description below so do use that and uh, as I mentioned before you have this software for Windows, Mac and even for your iOS devices. The iPhone version cost only $5. Well that's all in this review guys, thanks a lot for watching, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video, comment if you have any type of query, this is Shukesh and have a nice day guys.